This is what is left of Otoko Police Station in Obowo local government area of Imo State after angry youth of the community invaded the police station seeking justice following the death of a young boy, Ike Naokachi, who was allegedly shot dead by a police officer attached to the division. The angry youth stormed the police station on Monday, burnt the building, burnt police vehicles, carted away firearms and released some detainees. Imo State Governor Emeka Hedjoha, alongside the State Commissioner of Police, Rabiu Ladodo, visit the police station to get first-hand information about the incident. Governor Hedjoha then directed security operatives in the state to arrest the police officer who allegedly shot the boy dead. We should be very cautious that human life is, is, is you can't duplicate it and I believe it is um, a responsibility on anybody that carries arms to know that his duty is to protect, first and foremost, maintain peace, and then restore law and order. I mean, I believe that that should be last resort. I mean, if you must, I must be a criminal. If you have to go down a criminal, must be because the person is there. Uh, not when you have um, a disagreement. But the governor is also not happy that youth in the area took the law into their own hands. He therefore asked the community leaders and security agencies to identify the culprits and ensure they are brought to justice. Breaking into a police um, strong room and cutting away um, arms and ammunition is a criminal offence. And uh, after releasing criminals, so the, the community has a duty. Um, Mario Highness, chairman of council and um, leaders of community, honourable member, we have a duty to make available those persons and their identities to government as quickly as possible. The governor and his entourage moved to the home of the slain boy, Ikena, to commiserate with the family. The family members are hoping that security operatives will put words to action and bring the perpetrators to justice.